The perfect cast for a scandal, Hollywood style. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity scandals you've never heard of. Many people might think that they're gonna, that I'm, gonna, I'm here to, you know, tell some long held secret. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable incidents involving high profile individuals that, for some reason, have largely gone unnoticed by the public. What obscure celebrity scandal did we miss? Whisper it to us in the comments. Number 10. Chuck Berry's Voyeurism The late Chuck Berry was a singer, songwriter and guitarist who left a lasting legacy on R&B and rock music. Chuck Berry was a pioneer in his field, often referred to as the father of rock and roll, who influenced a generation of musicians. By the late 1980s, Berry branched out, notably purchasing the Southern Air restaurant in Wentzville, Missouri. To the oblivion of the employees and customers at his restaurant, Berry installed video cameras in private areas, which were eventually found by one of the cooks. The married father of four repeatedly had trouble with the law. A total of about 200 women filed a class action suit against Berry in 1990 for infringing on their rights to privacy. Although he claimed no wrongdoing, Berry opted to settle his accusers and paid out over $1.2 million. The margin of glory is not too high, that margin of defeat then is also not too low. So I live right through it without any pain. Number nine, Bruno Mars's arrest. Just when his career as a solo pop star was taking off, Bruno Mars fell into some trouble with the police. Check out this mugshot of Bruno Mars all smiles after he was busted in Las Vegas early Sunday morning for narcotics possession. During an indulgent night out in Vegas, he was caught in possession of illicit substances at the Hard Rock Casino and was swiftly arrested. He ended up pleading guilty in court. The uptown funk crooner enrolled in an education program, doled out a few thousand dollars, and put in hours of community service as penance. There won't be an entry of judgment. Mr. Hernandez is to be placed on informal probation for one year. As such, his record was expunged, and the story has largely remained obscure. That is, until today. Luckily, the incident taught Mars a big lesson that mistakes like this could flush all of his hard work down the drain. It, it, it's something that I moved past, and I'm hoping everyone else I come across will move past it too. Number eight, David Letterman's Secret Affairs. David Letterman became one of the most beloved figures in America with his long-running late-night talk shows. Well, you've never been on this show. I was going to say it's been a long time, but you've never been on this show. No, no, I haven't, Dave. Um, if you were bald, I would have been on 10 years ago. But the renowned host found himself in a scandal in 2009 when Joe Holderman, one of the producers of 48 Hours, attempted to blackmail him for millions. Holderman has pleaded not guilty to attempted grand larceny. He's been suspended from his job at CBS News, and if convicted, he could face up to 15 years in prison. Letterman had been romantically involved with some of the female staffers who worked for him, and Holderman threatened to expose the affairs. Letterman got ahead of him setting up a sting with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, which resulted in Holderman's arrest. All of this was made public in an episode of The Late Show by the host himself. I have uh, had sex with women who work for me on this show. Now, my response to that is, yes, I have. Number seven, Lana Turner and the Johnny Stompanato scandal. As one of Hollywood's most glamorous leading ladies, Lana Turner's romantic life was subject to much interest and talk. Lana led the kind of life that the writers of Melrose Place struggled to create. Lana lived her life the way she wanted to. By the late 50s, Turner became involved with Johnny Stompanato, a mobster who was reportedly very possessive and violent. On April 4, 1958, the two had gotten into an intense fight while Turner's daughter, Cheryl Crane, was home. Concerned for her mother's safety, Crane fatally wounded Stompanato. The story of what happened immediately after the stabbing of Stompanato goes like this. Cheryl called her father Stephen Crane. Lana called her mother and she called a doctor. The doctor, unable to revive Stompanato, suggested Lana call herself a really good lawyer. The death and subsequent trial became the talk of town, with dozens of reporters swarming the court during the hearings. Both Turner and Crane were exonerated, but that didn't stop the rumors around Tinseltown. No, the rumor has been rampant for years that uh, 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 Cheryl was taking the, the rap for Lana. Uh, and that's not true. Lana did not do it. 
That I know. Still, this story has since largely been forgotten. Number 6. Charlie Chaplin's Marriages You can't talk about the silent era of film without mentioning Charlie Chaplin and his body of work. <laughs> This tramp persona, he charmed his way into the hearts of millions around the world. But what many didn't know about Chaplin is that behind the on-screen antics, he showed a disturbing attraction for much younger women. There's aspects of, of Chaplin's behaviour, of his relationships with, with young girls that look, we found really troubling as we've been making the film. Indeed, three of his marriages were with minors, despite the fact that he was well into his adult years. These stories made some waves at the time, yet despite the unlawful activity, Chaplin's name and legacy doesn't seem to have been tarnished too badly. Chaplin returned to the US to receive an honorary Oscar in 1972. In 1975, he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth. Number 5. Manny Pacquiao's Harmful Remarks The world-famous boxer Manny Pacquiao hung up his gloves briefly in 2015 when he decided to run for a Senate seat in his home country of the Philippines. The 36-year-old will face his greatest political challenge yet. He's named a candidate for senator in next year's elections. During his campaign the next year, he made disparaging remarks about the LGBTQ plus community in a televised setting. You've caused quite a controversy with what people are saying is your statement. After the segment aired, Pacquiao was hit in the face with a flood of criticism, with many local celebrities calling for a boycott of the famed boxer. In addition to the online backlash, he lost his endorsement deal with Nike. We find Manny Pacquiao's comments to be abhorrent. Nike strongly opposes discrimination of any kind and has a long history of supporting and standing up for the rights of the LGBT community. Pacquiao eventually apologised for his statements, although he didn't exactly change his stance. Still, he was elected. Number 4. Mae West's Salacious Plays Throughout her timeless career, Mae West was known for heralding sexual liberation through her art. She created this absolute goddess that was synonymous with sex and sex appeal for years. She was seen as rather bold for her time period and was therefore no stranger to controversy. Before she drew large audiences to the box office for her steamy movies, West was already an established playwright and stage actress. Using the pseudonym Jane Mast, she penned a highly controversial Broadway play that debuted in 1926. At first, the conservative reviewers savaged the play, but then the New York police did Mae West a favor. They closed the play for three days. The show was deemed too indecent for public viewing, leading to West being arrested and spending 10 days in prison. Another work of hers, The Drag, which was about a closeted gay socialite, was similarly controversial and didn't even make it to Broadway. She did deal with subjects that were not considered normal subjects for theatre comedy then. Number 3. David O. Russell's Assault Allegations in between his acclaimed movies The Fighter and Silver Linings Playbook, David O. Russell got embroiled in a huge scandal that somehow flew under the radar. Wow. Well, I really appreciate that, Tiffany. I know you do. The Hollywood director was alleged to have assaulted his then underage niece, Nicole Pelequin. According to Pelequin, Russell had been assisting her during a gym session when he engaged in non-consensual touching. Oh, it just makes me just want to feel like just never have that kind of... Vibe ever. Although he admitted to the occurrence, Russell asserted its innocence, claiming that Pelequin had invited the interaction. At the end of the day, no charges were filed against the director due to a lack of evidence. So the case never even went before a court of law. Terribly embarrassing. Those are my worst moments, and they make me be more vigilant to never ever repeat such a thing. Number two, Matthew Broderick's costly accident. In the summer of 1987, Hollywood actor Matthew Broderick was vacationing in Northern Ireland with his then-girlfriend, actress Jennifer Grey. Grey's star was on the rise when she landed her breakout role in the 1986 film Ferris Bueller's Thank Day Off, where she met her boyfriend, Matthew Broderick. The two had hit it off on the set of Ferris Bueller's Day Off and began a relationship which they had largely kept hidden from the media. While driving back one night, Broderick crashed directly into another car after veering off into the wrong lane. Broderick and Grey survived the accident with significant injuries, 
but the passengers in the other car, mother-daughter duo Anna Gallagher and Margaret Doherty, passed away. I was in shock because I was the only living witness and Matthew was unconscious and had amnesia and the other two women died. Broderick got off on a careless driving charge and was ordered to pay a small fine, a move that was referred to as a travesty of justice by the family of those lost. And it had very serious uh, traumatic lasting effects on, I'm sure, Matthew and the family of the other women and me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ben Affleck's Family History The PBS documentary series Finding Your Roots brings on different celebrities every episode and traces their ancestral roots. You are descended from a patriot. This is a big surprise and I'm really and really exciting and I'm really proud of it. In 2014, Ben Affleck appeared on the show and found out, along with everyone watching, about some of his relatives, like his mum, who was a civil rights activist. Behind the scenes, however, the program's genealogists had discovered that one of Affleck's ancestors was a slave owner in Georgia. His name was Benjamin Cole, lived in Georgia on my mom's side about six generations back. Feeling embarrassed about the revelation and not wanting the information out in public, Affleck pressured the show's producers to edit that segment out. It all came to light during the 2015 Sony Pictures hacking scandal when the story was leaked to the public. Last July, the series executive producer Henry Louis Gates Jr. emailed Sony Entertainment CEO Michael Linton to ask for advice. Quote, we've never had anyone ever try to censor or edit what we found. He's a megastar. What do we do? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.